is Sterling at West Lebanon Feed and Supply. And today I wanted to talk about fertilizers. Uh, I'm sure everyone has used a fertilizer somewhere at some point, uh, whether it's on vegetables, whether it's on your perennials, or whether it's on a house plant. But have you ever looked at the numbers or the three little letters that you see on fertilizers? There's a meaning to those. So you'll see there's always one, two, and three, all in a line, right? So that first number, and sometimes you'll see the letter, stands for nitrogen, and there'll be an N. The second one is phosphorus, and then the third one is potassium. And you'll see the uh, elemental symbol of potassium is K, so you'll see the K. So basically what it's telling you is nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium ratios, okay? So this would be a 2, 4, 1. Well, what does nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium mean for the plant? Nitrogen is what's going to give you your big, lush foliage, right? So basically, if you're growing spinach, chard, lettuce, anything that you really want the greens to excel, you would use a higher nitrogen than, um, than say, right now, this one with the 241. If you were looking for a lot of budding and a lot of flowers uh, and really strong root system, that's what the phosphorus does. So if you're looking for tomatoes, peppers, anything that you want to bud, then you want to go with a higher phosphorus. Flowers, buds, right? So like with orchids, orchids really are all about the flower, right? So you want to go with a high phosphorus. So you'll see that this orchid food is actually 20, 20, 15. And then that brings us to the potassium. What does the potassium do? The potassium is just for your basic overall plant health. It's a strong root system. It also aids in, in holding, not just flowering, but holding those buds so that they'll set the fruit and, uh, and the just overall general health of the plant. So sometimes um, you, you want to be more specific, right? Take blood meal. Blood meal, actually, if you look at it, is 12 zero, zero. So basically, this is what all, all nitrogen, right? There's no phosphorus. There's nothing going to support budding. There's nothing going to support the, the overall health. You're just going to really push for that strong, green, leafy, whatnot. The uh, organic Neptune and the Starter Plus, if you notice, they're both higher in the phosphorus. This is a 5 10 5. This is a 2 4 1. So basically, these are what you're going to use on your seedlings. I'll be using this on my onion and my leek seedlings, which are about four weeks in, and they need a good shot of some fertilizer. So this is what I'll be using this weekend. So a word of caution. Before you start fertilizing out in the gardens, do a soil analysis, particularly on your vegetables and uh, your fruits. Uh, here up in Vermont, in my area, um, this neck of the woods, we're very high in phosphorus naturally. So if you're putting in too much phosphorus, that can actually make for a poor crop. Uh, I have printed out here at the store applications for soil analysis at the UVM um, and also at UNH. If you're in New Hampshire, UNH. If you're in Vermont, UVM. Um, they're over in our gardening section, or you can just go online and print them out yourself. When you're doing a soil analysis, what I'd recommend is you take a five-gallon bucket and you go out and you look and you stand at your garden in the base of your garden. And I always say, think of the letter Z, right? Because Zarugian, right? So you want to just start here and you scoop up a little bit, put it in the five gallon bucket, and you go through and you go do your letter Z through the whole garden, mix it all up. That way, there you're getting a good random sampling of your soil, and then you send it off. Now, they have, I'm a, I, I've seen UNH, but I'm more familiar with UVM because I'm in Vermont. Um, they give a complete soil analysis and bring that in and we'll set you right up so that you can have the very best soil for your very best fruit and vegetables. So to recap, remember the first, the first number is your nitrogen, which is going to give you your lush foliage, your green leaves. The second number is your phosphorus, which is going to give you your flowers, your buds, and a healthy root system. And then that third number is potassium, and that's going to give you good, just general, overall health of a healthy plant. Thanks for tuning in, folks. I really appreciate it. Thank you.